guys, uh, welcome. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tina. I'm the Teacup Teacher and I am a fifth year teacher and I just switched from fifth and sixth social studies and ELA to, no, yeah, fifth and sixth social studies ELA to fourth and fifth science and health. So, big exciting changes. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the name of this video, I am setting up my classroom and this is part two, so be sure to check out part one. I did not film a ton of setup in my last video simply because I was so overwhelmed uh, and I wasn't really staying in one area of the room. So like I would film like 30 seconds and then I'd be off doing something else in another part of the room and it just took too much time to like set up and break it down and then move and then same thing. So my goal is to, because I'm a lot more kind of contained now that things have kind of evened out a little bit and things are cleaning up, um, I do plan to film a little bit more. So I'm gonna put my extra battery to charge and then drill this hole. So wish me luck. Wow, that breeze feels so good. <sighs> I haven't even started working yet and I'm already like sweating. So the outlet is right here and that is where the microwave is plugged in. And then, oh my gosh, my fridge needs to go plugged into that. And like I said, there's no other way. So my goal is to get all of this junk out of the way and then drill a hole right there. That way it can go right into the outlet. So I'm thinking that I'm just gonna mark it with a Sharpie and then hope for the best. So I got this dry eraser up here and it is magnetic. Uh, it did come with like a sticky one, uh, but I ended up just grabbing this. Probably just leave it like that. Uh, and then I put this on here with command hooks and I tucked the command hooks back behind the marker so they kind of blend in just a little bit more. And then the second one is just below or just above this little shelf here. This is for erasers. However, I don't use normal dry erase erasers. So I'm just gonna leave that open for now. And if something ends up going in there, great. If not, no big deal. Hey you guys, I've been like the worst vlogger ever and I apologize, but my batteries were charging. So I got a lot done and the room is looking so much better. So let me show you the hallway real quick cause the hallway does not look better. So I put all of the things that I'm taking home out here, which is two Ikea shelves, a little Ikea table, three totes of books, another box of books, and then I just left this note asking them not to remove or toss them because everything I put in the hallway they've taken, which was the plan, but I just want them to know that this is not garbage, this is going home, and I just said that I needed to make room in my car and in storage. So that's probably going to take a few trips at minimum. Uh, I'm hoping I can get Dusty to help me with it tomorrow. Um, but in the meantime, I've just been kind of like plugging away and getting things packed up, trying to get this back counter cleared off. Uh, that way tomorrow I can just come in and prep and plan. I'm gonna do a quick pan to show you uh, kind of the things I've gotten done in the meantime and then my game plan for what's coming up next. This fish tank should be going today, fingers crossed. I just put my flexible seating options down here for now. So I have my lap desks and the yoga mats in there. That's all going. Still haven't figured out how I'm gonna use this or if I'm gonna use it, but that's just where it's living for now. And then I got all of those boxes out of here. I moved my little rolling desk. But yeah, so this is the current state. These are the border trims. I absolutely hate the black. Uh, I think I may try to go with something a little bit lighter. Like, I don't know if I wanna do another order of that one. Like. I'm not sure, but I absolutely hate the black. I feel like it's just such a dark, like, black hole on this wall, and where there's three of them, it's just so much. So I'm thinking of changing directions. I just, I don't know, but I'm not loving it. Uh, I'm gonna figure out what all of that is for, and then figure out where to go from there, but that is driving me bananas. But there's kids' stuff in it, and I don't wanna, like, go through their things. I have my watering can, because I am bringing my plants in tomorrow. Uh, this needs to go back on the bookshelf and then this is the border trim 
that is going, well, it's supposed to go up here. Not much has really changed over here aside from just moving some things around. Need to put those two things away. That's all garbage. Cleared off most of this. I need to figure out where to put that uh, menu. And then I need to find a home for this ketchup folder. Here's pretty much done. Just need to put those couple things away. Boards done. And I need to find a home for the Scholastic uh, Newses as well as the Science Bin. But yeah, everything is kind of coming along slowly but surely. Oh, and I hung my Be The Change canvas right there as well. So yeah, things are happening. Um, I need a lot of labels. So I brought my iPad, that way I can create a note uh, in GoodNotes and just write down measurements. So I do have measuring tape somewhere. I will use that and I just need to make a list of all the labels that I need because, well, I love labels, let's be honest. Like, if you've watched my YouTube channel for a while now, you know that I am big on labels. But Let's get some things done, that way I can get out of here. Uh, it's currently 12.45, my goal is to be out of here by like 2, 3 o'clock. That way I can go home and do some more work because it never ends as a teacher. But that's all right. I need to get plants switched over to a new, um, to all their new homes, that way I can bring them into the classroom. So like it's still exciting stuff and it's still stuff for school and I will vlog all of that. But like, it's a lot, a lot, a lot, like a lot, a lot. I know you guys can't see my face but so in order to make my life easier when I'm working with these like command strips I will separate them and then I will stick them together before putting them on whatever I'm hanging so like in this case the mirror or a picture frame whatever it may be a canvas whatever that way I don't have to worry about lining them up after they're already lined up so I just peel one side off and stick it to whatever the item is and then when I'm ready to go put it on the wall I'll pull off the other like sticky part that way it sticks right to it and I don't have to worry about lining anything up or measuring anything it's already done life updates so I am at a point where if school started tomorrow I would be perfectly comfortable with allowing students in here and teaching and all of those things so I'm gonna go home and tomorrow we'll just be putting on labels and finishing up the um, bulletin boards and things like that a lot of things are still going on even though I am leaving for the day uh, but yeah so this is the end of day three of classroom setup. I am pretty excited with how quickly things have gone. Granted, it probably would have taken me at least another two days had I not tossed everything in my closet, but that's all right. We all have a Monica closet. How did you get in there? <laughs> You're messy. We all do. Most people just have a junk drawer. I just have a whole closet. Um, but I'll do a quick pan just to kind of show you like where we're at for right now. And then I'm gonna get out of here and I will vlog. Also on a completely unrelated note, if you guys know of any like swivel rolly office chairs, that you love please let me know because this is not going to work for an extended period of time uh it is incredibly uncomfortable and obviously not like conducive to moving around quickly so like i said if you guys know of any office chairs please throw recommendations in the comments because your girl needs a chair like asap Literally. 
literally my favorite part of coming home every single day. Hi, honey. I know. You're a good girl. I gotta love your brother, too, though. Hi, handsome. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, good boy. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, is that a toy for me? Time to heat up lunch, which is the usual of green beans with chicken and rice. So I'm gonna throw that in the microwave. And while that's heating up, I need to go refill their food container because they're out of food and it's currently sitting on the back deck because it was delivered from Chewy yesterday. So let's get this heated up. Hey you guys, I know this lighting's not the greatest because I'm sitting in front of a window, but it's currently 3.15 and I've gotten quite a bit done, so I'm gonna turn this around and show you what I've been working on. Uh, I ended up turning on Friends, I've been watching that, I ate my lunch, and then I started working on this stuff. And the longest, the thing that takes me the longest is finding fonts that I like. I like fun ones, but also like, like clean ones, but like they're easy for kids to read, but they're enjoyable for me, I don't know. It's so hard for me to find things that I like. Uh, so that took forever, but I finally found some. So let me turn around and show you what I got done. I find working in PowerPoint so much easier than in Cricut Design Space sometimes. Okay, let me rephrase that. It's not easier to work in PowerPoint. However, if you know like exactly what you're doing, Cricut Design Space is significantly easier. However, uh, if you are trying to play around with fonts like I was, like you can see all of these different fonts that I tried right here. If you are playing around with fonts, I do find PowerPoint to be easier. And then a lot of times I will go over to Cricut Design Space and I will make them in there or I will export them as a JPEG or a PNG, whatever it may be. And then I will import them into Cricut Design Space as an image and then I will make a cut image from it. So if you're familiar with Cricut um, Design Space, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I made all of the block bins. so. I'm doing these in vinyl, even though next year it's not going to be set up this way, but that's fine. I'll just peel them off and redo them. But I have block 1.1, 1.2, 2.1, 2.2, 3.1, and 3.2 right now. And then let me go back to my projects. It's the fourth time I've accepted this new privacy policy. Yes, I spelled vinyl wrong. And then I made today is for where my date cards are gonna be. This is gonna go above our schedule cards. And then this is for that little black lock box that I have where my students can share things with me or anything that they want me to know. So now that that's done, I need to create our schedule cards and then I need to start preparing stuff for next week, like for classwork and lesson planning. I need to set up a photo session for somebody. So I'm working on getting that set up while also dealing with my dogs. I just got my dog's vet appointment made. I got her in for 2.30 tomorrow and then I got this guy. This dude hates having his nails clipped. Uh, but I got him in for four o'clock next week. Also already, I mean, I knew I was gonna be happy with this new school, but it's so nice that I now can make appointments for four o'clock and know that I can get there. Be pretty excited, but I'm pretty sure he needs to go OUT and I have to spell the word because let's ask him. Do you have to go outside? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta go potty. You gotta go outside. Where's your sister? Mama, you wanna go outside? <laughs> Does Maddie need to go outside too? Life update. I just finished making schedule cards and I'm gonna send them over to Staples and then I'm gonna show you guys what I did. I was gonna send them to a local like small business to get them printed and it said that they were there until five but I just called to make sure that they have a laminator and they said that even though they're open until five, she said, I think she'll be back in the office tomorrow at 10. So I really, because I had to schedule my dog's vet appointment for tomorrow, I really want to just get it done today. Uh, that way I can just go in and put everything up tomorrow. I will have to run um, magnet tape over it all, which is fine, um, but at least it'll be printed and ready to go. So as much as I don't want to go out, I think I'm gonna run over to Staples, get this printed and laminated, and then come back. Lots going on, but I will update you guys when I get home. I'm vlogging with my phone because I did not bring my camera with me. Uh, so I got everything printed. That capital W is gonna drive me insane because all the other ones that are the Century Gothic are lowercase, but it is what it is. I got these done. I'll show you all that later. The part that I'm most excited about. For months, I have been trying to find 
this border trim. And I always peruse the Staples clearance because Staples is super expensive. However, every once in a while you find amazing things on clearance. You guys, I got all of these schoolgirl style border trims. I got two of the apple, one of like the little pom poms, and then two of these scalped ones, which I have wanted forever for a dollar forty six each. A dollar forty six. I am giddy. And the best part is I had $30 in classroom rewards, like from stuff that people have donated or that I have earned just from spending. So I literally paid nothing for all of this, which makes it even better. Hey you guys, sorry about the noise. I have my vacuum going, uh, but I just got home, everything printed off. And like I showed you guys, the capital W on this one's going to drive me insane, but I'm rolling with it because I've reached that point where I just don't care anymore. We're going to laminate all of these. there <laughs> mind the gap okay, let's try that again so hey you guys I am now downstairs in like our sunroom home office thing and I'm gonna start transplanting plants repotting plants moving plants whatever I'm gonna start working with my plants uh, because I would love to take those to work tomorrow that way everything's just done tomorrow my border trims that I bought were delivered and yeah so, I have so many that I need to move and I want to keep some here, but I also want to take some to school. So what I'm thinking is, I'll probably take some satins to work as well as a spider plant. So I'm going to get all of those things ready to go. Good morning YouTube, it is Friday and it is currently 8.30 and I'm slowly making my way to work. This morning I need to drop off my laptop and my school key to my last school and then I'm headed to my new school. When I get there I have a couple things to finalize for prep as well as a couple of things to do around the room. We're going to hit the road, my goal is to be there by 10 and I say that because I want to stop at a nursery on the way see if there's any fun plants so my former students stepdad owns a local nursery that I love going to I have to drive past it on my way to work so I'm gonna stop and see if they have anything fun that I can either put in the house or take to school I don't know I don't have a ton of room so it would have to be like oh my god I need this in order for me to actually buy it I'm gonna hit the road and I will hopefully catch some footage at the nursery and talk to you guys when I get to school bye Hey guys, so I am now at work and it is 9.50 on the dot, so I made it by 10 like I'd hoped. Uh, I did get to run into my student at the nursery and I was so excited. He was so excited and it was so funny because like he was all smiles and I said that I was here to look at some plants and he was like, be sure to check out Greenhouse 3 and he just sounded like so mature and like this was his like place that he owned and it was just, it was so sweet. Uh, but it was just really nice to be able to see him and know that I can run into him there um, And then he was really excited to show me some new and exciting things that the company is gonna be doing and I was just it was really nice on my way here I dropped off my key and my laptop at my last job and I don't say this lightly because I have been in abusive relationships so trust me when I say that I I say this and I don't mean it in like a a way to poke fun at this it truly dropping that off truly felt like closure on a toxic relationship and like I said I've been through them so I know that feeling and just that relief that you feel and it's such a weird feeling like I didn't think I would have any emotions like I thought I'd just be dropping off my key and my laptop and I would leave but that was not the case like it hit really hard and it was super weird like 
after doing that, I actually got a little bit emotional just because the past like six, seven months have just been so hard. Probably gonna get some backlash for this because I got backlash in my resignation video for saying that I was so unhappy, but that's just how it was and that's how I felt and I just feel so good here. You know, there is negativity in every workplace and I know that, but some things I can deal with, um, but when it comes to like almost bullying, I can't. Uh, I will not allow it to happen to myself or others and I removed myself from the situation. So it just felt so good and weird at the same time. So the, like, I'm just extra happy to be at school today. But anyway, on a more positive note, I have some fun and exciting things that I'm gonna be working on in my classroom today, like getting up schedule cards, talking to you guys about my schedule and getting into planning. So I don't know what my day is gonna look like yet. So the next like couple of weeks will be trial, trial and error which we only have, I think I counted like seven weeks of school left anyway, so pretty much all of it's gonna be trial and error, and then hopefully next year, when we change our schedule up, I will then have trial and error again, but that's fine. I still need to eat breakfast, so I'm gonna get that done, and then I will talk to you guys after, and I will show you what I worked on yesterday because I told you I was gonna show you, and I didn't because I am awesome. So I'm gonna go eat my food, drink some coffee, chill out, and then kind of wrap my head around how I want to structure my time here at school today. That way I don't have to come in on the weekend. So, so I'm gonna go do that and I'll talk to you guys in a few. I'm in my room working and I just got an email from FedEx saying that I have a package out for delivery and it requires a signature. However, I'm not home. It was supposed to be delivered next Friday. And I ordered it yesterday morning. So if you guys know, I do photography on the side and my hard drive crashed and I ordered a backup of my hard drive that I have like stored on a cloud called uh, Backblaze. And I ordered it yesterday morning and I assumed it when it said Friday, cause it said next Friday, it, it's out for delivery today. So I'm going to run home and leave a note on the door for FedEx. And sometimes if you like sign a paper and say, hey, please leave this and sign it, they will leave it. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that they do. I am gonna go run home, do that. Thank God I work close to home now and then come back. So I'm just gonna leave everything here. I'm just gonna take my purse and my shoes, leave everything on and I'm gonna be back to get to work. So let's go run home and leave some papers for FedEx so we can focus on something for once today. So I'm now back at work, I left the sign and I have a little friend with me. I brought my girlfriend to work today uh, because like I said earlier, she has a vet appointment and I work two minutes from home, but it just makes life easier and Dusty's going in a little bit later today. So he's hanging out with Cam and I have Maddie with me. So we're gonna be productive and get a bunch of stuff done. Hopefully she settles down. She doesn't really love being at work with me. I did this at a school a couple schools ago. Not our favorite thing in the world, but uh, eventually she will settle down. I didn't bring a bed for her, so I may just put like my jacket down or something, I don't know. In the meantime, let me show you what I worked on yesterday. It is going to be impossible to get anything done with her here today because she is just so stinking cute. But anyway, focus it. So last night, I worked on these schedule cards. Uh, there are a bunch of different colors. And this is what I did, I did if I had, because it came to three to a page, if I had blank ones, I just, like ones that didn't have a filler, I just left them blank and then I put like the timestamp. That way I have extras of like, you know, if something changes in our schedule, but all of these are good to go. And then the kids travel from block to block, so they have three blocks, but their science and social studies is split in half. So they go to math for one block and then ELA for another block and then a third block is science and social studies. So we call them 1.2, 2.2, and 3.2. Like if you are block one and it splits, you're gonna be in 1.1 and 1.2. If you're in block two for science and social studies, you have 2.1 and 2.2. I didn't, I forgot to put the time on these, but I'm just gonna leave them. These are more for me than for the students. These are for the students so that they know their schedule. So yeah, I'm gonna get some magnet tape up on these and then get them up on the board. I did not cut out the vinyl because honestly, I forgot, I'm not even gonna lie. So I have today is to go there and then schedule for this side. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna get 
the schedule up there and then I can always add that later. Like that's not something that needs to be done before school starts on Monday. Okay, so my schedule cards are up. The only issue is I messed up the time on this one. So eventually I will reprint it. I'm just leaving that for now. Uh, I'm gonna put schedule up there with vinyl. And then like I said, over here I have, this is more for me, these little cards. Um, and then these are all of the extras. So I made one for assembly. And then I have all their different specials, one for testing. And yeah, and then I have a blank for each color. The only thing that I do need to do is, I didn't do it because I was worried that I wouldn't have enough magnet tape. I need to add a little piece to the end of these because you can kind of see that they're, they're not flush against the board, which is fine, except it's gonna drive me nuts because I'm weird like that. So, this is done. Yay! Did you get all the love from the custodian? Huh? Did you get all the love? So the custodian popped in uh, while I was doing my border trim and was like loving on Maddie. So she's like all her glory. Um, but this is almost done. I just gotta cut it and staple one more time and then this one's good to go. So I am extra as Dusty likes to call me. And anytime I use like black border trim with silver staples, I will color the staples with a Sharpie. That way they don't stand out quite as much. It's ridiculous and it's stupid and nobody notices but me, but it makes me happy. Border trim options for these black ones. I am torn. I originally, whoopsie. I originally bought this whiteboard border trim, which <laughs> I'm, again, extra. It's the same as this. So where this is the wood background black trim, I was originally thinking black background wood trim. But then I picked these up for $1.46 at Staples yesterday, and part of me is like, do I just use this? So then part of me is like, hey, why don't you do the wood trim, obviously that one's gonna be black, on that one, and that one, and then put a fun one around this one. But, that like doesn't match anything in the room. So, I don't know. I really am leaning toward this one for at least around this guy. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Are you kidding me? I really thought I had your school. I really thought I had more border trim than what I had. So, I mean, more background. I have enough to do like half of it. So, we're gonna place an order, and in the meantime, we're gonna get the other ones done. I think what I'm gonna do is the wood, wood, and then the fun one in the middle, because that's all we can do. So, let's go get to work. It is currently almost noon, it's two minutes of, and I got two bulletin boards done. My battery died in the middle of doing them, so I'm not sure how much it cost, but I got the two black ones done, obviously, and I'm gonna order the Better Than Paper for the blue one, and it's just gonna be like that until it comes in. It is what it is, like that's not gonna change anything for my lessons. Uh, so in the meantime, what I'm going to work on is I am going to work on 
lesson planning. Uh, I have my laptop and my planner and <clears throat> although I can't print to the work computer I do have a printer back here that I can print to that way I can run and make copies and just get everything organized and ready to go that way I don't have to do anything this weekend because I do not want to have to come in this weekend especially because I just scheduled a photo session for Sunday so really kind of just cuts down on time and although I'm starting with a new position I thankfully knock on wood have never had to work on a weekend and I plan to keep that tradition going. Maddie, what are you doing? She's not loving being here. What are you doing? Come here. Hi. Say hello to the camera. <clears throat> I know. We're going to take you to get your pedicure soon because your nails are way too long. Way too long. I love you. What are you sniffing? What are you sniffing? Oh, thank you. I may completely revamp what my science block looks like. Before this first one, they haven't done anything with space science or um, I'm starting with that. The fifth grade standard, we have mystery science and when I was supposed, when I got hired on as a sixth grade teacher earlier the school year at my last school, I was supposed to teach all the subjects. So I had purchased Generation Genius to supplement mystery science with. Then a week before school started, I found out that I was switched to social studies and ELA only. So I ended up having this Generation Genius subscription that I don't like. I didn't have a need for. Uh, so I'm gonna be piecing together um, Mystery Science and Generation Genius. So basically, what's gonna happen is the first day is just gonna be a slideshow about me, expectations, um, what this year is gonna look like, how we're just gonna kind of you know, learn together basically, and things like that. So that's the first thing. On Tuesday, I'm gonna give them their pre-assessment. Wednesday, we're gonna do a read aloud. I'm gonna stop at the bookstore and see if I can find a book. I checked through the books that were here in the room and none of them are ones that I can use for a read aloud like mentor text. I'm gonna go uh, see if I can find something at the bookstore. Wednesday, we're gonna start the anchor phenomenon with mystery science. Thursday and Friday, we are going to work through the anchor phenomenon. It says on there that that lesson takes about an hour and a half, and I just looked through it. Um, with stopping and talking and giving them time to write, it seems about accurate, so we should be able to finish it by Friday. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but they have this night sky patterns to fill in, so um, this is something that they're gonna add to as time goes on. So I'm gonna go make these copies as well as work on my slideshow for Monday. I need to update it. I'm gonna use the same one that I used earlier this school year when I started my last school in September. I'm gonna use the same one and just kind of revamp it and just make it work for now. So we're gonna go get that stuff done and I will talk to you guys in a few. It's currently 1.50 and I need to start getting ready to get out of here because Miss Maddie, who's like, looks like she's dead on the floor over there. I need to figure out how I'm gonna get her and the wagon downstairs. I think she's gonna be really skittish if I pull that with her either in it or next to it. But at the same time, like there's nothing I need to take down because I can't fit her and stuff in the car. So I think I'm actually gonna leave the wagon here and then when Dusty and I come to get that stuff in the hallway, then I will take the wagon home. So I'm just gonna get straightened up, get all of my stuff packed up. That way, um, if we don't come back until Sunday, that's fine. I'm gonna turn this around real quick and show you everything that I prepped for this week and how I got ready. All right, so uh, for Monday, I don't have any papers, but for Tuesday, I have their pre-assessments in here ready to go. And I just labeled them with pencil in the top corner for any of the ones that didn't have like, I had three classes that have 13 in them. Uh, so I didn't label those and then for Wednesday, I have their night sky patterns paper from Mystery Science, um, and those are ready to go. And you can see that I did the same thing, labeled them uh, based on how many. So that's all ready to go. I just need to pick up this stuff and this stuff, and then I am out of here.
All right, you guys, so this is going to end off part two of classroom setup. From here on out, it's all regular teaching vlogs. I am excited to teach science. I'm excited to be in a place where there's support and opportunity for growth, and I'm just, I am giddy. So, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit subscribe. Like I said, if you know of any comfortable office chairs that are not insanely expensive, drop them in the comments down below because I need a chair ASAP. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. No, no, no.